chat. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm on my way to the gym. It is not that early in the morning, but it's the morning. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, almost 10 30. I was, I'm going so late because I waited on my sister. She finally got up, child. So, yeah, I was about to leave it, but yeah, nevertheless, we're on our way. I'm on my way to her so we can go together. But for the last past couple days, I've been thinking about my journey and just where I came, like, like the journey that I'm on, like this spiritual journey just self-development journey just the journey of becoming a better person a, a better me a better version of me the person that god would want me to be on here on this earth so i can do the things i need to do that i'm supposed to do here on this earth i don't want this to be taking up space but the within the last past couple of days i just been you know just reminiscing you know in the past going over just different parts of my journey up until now and I realized that somewhere in the journey somewhere in the journey I have held on to this thought of thinking that you have to in order to walk this life out with God and be a godly woman be a woman of faith and just being this strong not so strong in the sense of I don't need a man but like strong as in, in who I am standing flat footed in who I am person and just being bold and whatever the, all the other things somewhere along that this 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 journey of mine I have created I have held on to this thought that I had to in order to be that person I had to look a certain way be sound a certain way like I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it like it's like I'm, I'm almost I was almost in this place of not almost I was in this place of not being who I am like being authentically who I am I was trying to erase parts of me that he created me to be that's needed for me needed for me to be to obtain the life that I'm going after like I don't know like where that belief came from that that in order to be that type of woman, the type of woman that I'm aiming towards, the version of myself that I'm aiming towards, I had to do, look a certain type of way, sound a certain type of way, dress a certain type of way, walk a certain type of way in order to be that person. And that is so not true. That is not true. God cannot bless a false version of you. He will not, It just it's not in him. He cannot pour himself into anything that's not true because he is truth he is the truth and so if it's not true he cannot he he don't belong he cannot pour himself into that so the only way to actually become a better version of yourself is to stop this thought of thinking that a better version of yourself being being a godly woman or a woman of faith or this whatever you believe you you whatever you're trying to become requires you to change who you are it don't it don't it don't require you to change who you are eventually as your journey goes things will fall off like over time that just not compatible with who you are becoming but let those things fall off naturally but the at the root of who you are like with the simple things how the things you like to do how you sound i'm not a person that's just like hi you guys the lord said or hi you guys be encouraged like i'm i'm not a soft my voice is not naturally soft like i don't have a soft voice like those simple things like i don't want to wear a skirt that's dragging the ground every day that's not me that's not who i am like that's that's not kendra he made me with these certain with these certain 
qualities about myself these the small little things that make up who i am he made me this way because it fits my purpose it fits whatever i'm supposed to be doing here on earth and if i take those things away then i cannot receive what he has for me because i'm not being me so i said all to say be authentic to who you are be authentic be exactly who you are even in the midst of growing in the midst of changing in the midst of evolving in the midst of being on a journey because living life is a forever journey following god is a forever journey it's a journey that we would never stop being on it would it's, it's continuous until we are six feet under but while you live in this life and you are aiming to change and being better be who you are supposed to be nobody else if your laugh is is weird sounding who cares who cares somebody is supposed to be so attracted to that laugh somebody would be attracted to the way you talk somebody would be attracted to the way you look physically like like i said certain things will just naturally fall off as you grow but don't force yourself to be something just because society says you have to look this way you have to sound this way to be this person or to do this job have this career or what to be a mom whatever the goal is for you girl be you this was longer than what i expected but it's just been in my heart for the last couple of days because i really have been forcing myself unintentionally to be different be opposite of who I am for the sake of thinking that and I like I said I don't know what I got this belief from it could be growing up in church thinking that pastors or like they make people who believe in God look a certain way they walk around their Bible 24 7 they always hands just in this motion 20 like I don't know if that's where it came from I don't know where it came from but I'm cutting it off today Girl, y'all gonna get whoever y'all get and everybody else around me outside of this camera, outside of YouTube, gonna get who, who y'all gonna get me. Me. Like I'm not I'm not trying to I'm intentionally focusing on being who I am with still being that woman. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know if it made any sense. I don't know if I was rambling, but Oh girl, yeah, I'm loud. I'm loud by nature. I don't care. If you can't take the loudness, if you can't take the talking, then can't take the chattiness. If you can't take the randomness, if you can't take who I am, you just ain't funny. <laughs> that is, that's just, it. this is what it is. It is what it is. So yeah. Hello, I'm outside. Oh yeah, come. Okay, so I'm, I just parked my car outside of my sister's house. I knew I heard her car. She was, she already in her car. Um, I'm not gonna go to the gym. I'm not gonna record while I'm there this time. So, not that I ever record, y'all. We ain't been to the gym in like two weeks. Probably, y'all. I don't even want to get into it. Probably like two and a half. Ridiculous. I know, but we ain't been in a minute. But we back on it, so let me go. Cause we running late.
or here go her car beeping. Um, so I don't know. Y'all around my eyes are so dark. I just need to figure out. I know it got something to do with just lack of taking my my vitamins, my iron pills and stuff, but I'm I'm back on it today. I, I start started back taking them today. But anywho, um so I figure why I have to shower twice. Lord Jesus, this is beeping. I can't stop it. I'm sorry, Ace. I can't do it. Um, I figure why shower twice when I can just shower once. Cause so I failed to mention to you to you guys early. I was I didn't fail. I was gonna keep it to myself. I um today I started 75 hard slash soft. <laughs> Um, I'm just playing cuz I don't like that beeping today. I started yeah. 75 hard so We have to work out twice a day for 75 75 days straight. So I'm just like why get in the shower right now? Just to work out and have to get back in the shower again. So yeah, I decided to wait just a little bit later y'all see me eat my little lunch which was nothing but some tuna that I fixed up a pack of tuna that I fixed up put on top of a uh, lightly salted rice cake which is so good um the knock tea try but we finna go to Walmart and get uh some jump ropes because days like this was gloomy and it's cold outside it was actually raining on and off um and it's cold outside we can just jump rope instead of having to take a walk because when the kids come home from school and when her boyfriend go to work we don't be having nobody to watch the kids and our gym don't have a um what's that called a child care place so we can't take the kids with us so it's either to do jump rope and take us to, or take us a walk or try to get back to the gym at night then also we said we was gonna try to do the gym at night, but after we, we put the kids down, but I don't know, knowing us, probably won't happen. So just to play it safe, we're gonna get up to the jump rope so we can jump rope today. Cause that's a great form of cardio and yeah, and she need a couple other things from Walmart, but let's see. This the one I seen on the internet right here this one adjust this one adjust Kayla shut up but it's one that's cheaper and there's one that's this one like the length of it but it's a black one that's seven dollars and 88 cents I ain't got it I ain't got it I ain't got it, ain't got it. it's a black one that's um that don't adjust that's nine feet, but it's seven eighty-eight. So I want to find it so I can take out the box and see. That? Where? Yeah, they only got one left. This is what we need. But let's see though. Let's see first. Hold on. I'm finna open it cause if it's too long then we gonna have to get the 1288 one cause I kinda feel like it could be a tad bit I be seeing it It can be a tad bit shorter Girl, it's a garage. Like, mm -hmm. I'm if I'm gonna jump this. It, just I was thinking off because I ain't even. I was trying to tell him name and you didn't even know. What? Name of what? Uh, <laughs> the challenge we was doing. Oh, 70, I also, 75 hard. 75 hard? Like, yeah. H E A R T. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all, yeah. No! So, no heart like your heart. <laughs> like H A R D? Huh? You said heart. Heart. Girl. Y'all, I just got the 75 day thing that my sister Ooh. wanted us to do. So, Ooh. with that, we're supposed to be girl, doing we two workouts. We is so loud. This girl is yelling at her we people. We're supposed to be doing two Ooh. 
workout a day. It's the rope I end up getting. So this is gonna be our second one. And we in our parents' garage, cause. <laughs> if somebody would have told me this adjustable rope crap's gonna be this good, <laughs> it's not fun to adjust. I would have got the $7.88 cent one. Do you hear me? I'm trying to go cut, man. Then this girl didn't even adjust her right. They said, her be step on it, supposed to be right up on your armpit. This girl's above her shoulder. You was gonna sell the VA just work at it. All right, well, I got mad. Finally. Child, I've been sitting here. No man to see me. My kids are watching Power Rangers. But I've been sitting here for almost an hour trying to edit this YouTube short to go up today. And it's 8.05. I'm still going to put it up because on my now upload days for actual vlog, I'm thinking about just uploading a YouTube short. And then I'm thinking about making me a TikTok so I can repurpose that short and put it on tiktok but i don't know yet don't quote me when i do i'll let y'all know so y'all can go follow me over there but girl it's not hard it's just that i got kids my kids out of school i should have edited i should have edited this before they got to school because this was made this morning before i went to the gym because it's to get ready for the gym with me to go to the gym with me so yeah but now i'm gonna eat so it's gonna have to wait even longer because i'm starving and I shouldn't have waited this long to eat, but listen, I just had to make I made my kids breakfast for dinner. So I had to take care of them first before I could take care of myself. So, you know. Let's get to Girl. So I ended up falling in love with Chop Chop. I think I told y'all that in a whole bunch of vlogs ago. So Tony decided one day to go get the stuff that we usually put in the, get in our chop chop salad bowl and make it at home. And it's just 10 times better. It just hit a whole lot better because I can season the vegetables how I want to. So he bought some stuff yesterday for it so I can prep me some today. And I just mix it all up inside of this, um, the container that the um, spring mix came in. So that's what I'm about to eat. We had ended up prepping it earlier, me and him. We set up in here and prepped it earlier. Now, the only thing that I don't like that's up in here is, which I don't mind it, I like onions, but I might, I might like it this time. Because last time we made it, Tony diced them and they wasn't cooked, they wasn't soft enough. When it comes to onions, I can I love them when they're soft, when they like caramelized. But if they're not soft, I don't know. I can't really eat it, so. Let me make me some of this real quick. What? Okay, last time we went to Wendy's and we got the pumpkin spice frosty. Man, that was a bus. <laughs> it was a bus, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went to, um, me and her, we both went to Wendy's. And I got it for her, because I y'all know I can't really take dairy. I can't eat dairy. Oh but I got it for her, and I tasted it. It was really good. I saw somebody on TikTok talking about it. And we went and got it. I love pumpkin spice, by the way. And it was really good. If I could eat ice cream, I would have tore it up. But yeah, let me make me some of this before. Do you got something to drink? Water. Well, yesterday you put two in They drunk. I don't know who drunk them. But water. That's what you need. Um. Okay, shush. Finish eating. I also got these... Pita breads, he bought these pita breads. They got they made with flax seeds, oat bran, and whole wheat. And I got my hair done. You think this your video? This nope. your vlog? 
Okay. It's your channel. Hurry up. Here. Here. Um, and it's not that bad. It's nothing but 60 for the whole, for one whole pita bread. It's 60 calories, only 60 cal calories, nine grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, which is what? Seven, seven, make it seven grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. So not too bad. So I might have one of these because we usually get the sliced pita bread on the side when we go to shop shop. So yeah. So one, one of these is that, and I'm going to have one. So let me plate this up real quick. Okay, so what I didn't did was I put some on this tortilla. And mind you, just nothing but veggies. It's a salad with um, corn. I should have put black beans in it. But I got corn, um, broccoli, cucumber, bell pepper, onion, and some uh, sweet potatoes, like diced up sweet potato, and then spring mix. So nothing but a salad. I just put some on this pita bread. Child, my kids start arguing as soon as I turn the camera on. But anywho, IGK, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I put some on this pita bread, and then I got a little bit inside of a bowl. I put a tablespoon of ranch in here. I put hot peppers and drizzle a tablespoon and a half on here because I still have calories to intake. And yeah, but this this is it for tonight. We'll make this it. It should be really fulfilling. Oh, and I also have um, plant-based chicken up in here. So this is not real chicken, it's plant-based. So yeah, I'm finna eat. And, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I, what I do know, I'm, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna put them to bed because, girl, I'm tired. So yeah, let me eat. Maybe I should have paused the TV before I turned the camera on. Hold on. But I can't pause the um. I can't pause the fan, child. I can't. I'm not getting up. Turn the fan off. Y'all have to deal with the fan sound. But after I ate, I came and put the kids to bed. Um. Okay, I came to put the kids in bed and got in bed myself. It's currently 9.53. Girl, I forgot to update y'all on the jump rope situation. Child, it didn't work out like we wanted it to. I jump rope for maybe every bit of five minutes only because my nephew kept coming out, coming to the garage door. We didn't have nobody to keep an eye on him while we jump rope in the garage. And it was too cold to go outside because we could have just went outside if it wasn't so cold. And he could have played in the yard with my daughter or whatnot. But yeah, and my and my daughter wouldn't even let me be great and stay in the house. So yeah, we're gonna have to just figure figure it out as we go. But the good thing about that is today was the 30th, tomorrow the 31st. Excuse me, that was rude and disgusting. But today's the 30th, tomorrow's the 31st. And the initial plan wasn't to start until the first, the 75 heart until the first. But we just gonna give ourselves a head start to get in the groove of it. So we still have tomorrow to get it right all the way before the first get here, which is on Wednesday. Because today I didn't even read the um the 10 pages of my book. I'm gonna pick back up Atomic Habits because I still haven't got done with that. So I'm gonna pick that back up. Um we supposed to read 10 pages of a book. If you don't know what 75 heart, 75 heart is, is work out at least twice a day. Not at least, work out twice a day. Stick to a certain diet. Don't matter what kind of diet you choose, but stick to a diet. And then um, read 10 pages of a book. Let me look, I probably, I don't wanna lie to y'all. Um. 
a screenshot in the second to my sister. So it's drink a gallon of water a day, um, work out twice, stick into any structured diet, reading 10 pages of a book, and taking a progression photo every single day. So I did not do the photo, which I had every intentions on doing it. I don't know why I didn't do the photo. I didn't do the photo. I did not read the 10 pages and I got a half a gallon of water in, a little under a half, and I barely worked out twice. So <laughs> we got a lot to mark off this list, but it's okay. I'm not putting no pressure on myself and I'm giving myself grace. Turn my phone back on because it's dark. I'm giving myself grace because it is what it is. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to say. But anyway, my camera friend of that, I just want to come here and just end this vlog real quick before I go to lay down and go to sleep because tomorrow I'm starting a new one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you're a real one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.